Hello, this is Andrew Fletcher again. Good to see everybody. This is my second reading log assignment, children's literature. The title of this book is All the Way to Havana by Margarita Engel. It's a multicultural family life fiction. Approximate age for the kids would be pre-kindergarten through third grade. The book All the Way to Heaven tells the story of a Cuban family's trip from their rural home to the big city of Havana to see their newly born cousin. The book is set in Cuba. Uh, we're not entirely sure what year it is set, but we know it's probably around the 1960s, 1970s, as the main character in the book is actually a car called Cara Cara, and it's an old car, and the car is a 1954 Chevrolet. Um, so the one that really the story is about the, the family trip, which is a common theme in a lot of entertainment. Um, it's not obviously a children's literature, but National Lampoon's Vacation, Family Trip, and such like. Um, very relatable to, to kids. There's a lot of kids, um, including my own kids, went on family vacations in the car. Um, either A, you can't afford to fly, or flying is just inconvenient for some people. One of the unique things about this book and very enjoyable is the main character in the book is actually a car. The car was called Cara Cara, which is um, Spanish for pretty much cluck cluck or the sound that a hen makes, which is what the author described as what the sound the car made. Uh, it didn't really purr because it wasn't new. The other major character in the book is a young boy. Um, the boy's family is poor, yet they're really, really happy. And the interaction with the car is the focal point of the story. We see the young boy helping his papa fix the car at the beginning of the book, and by the end, the, the boy finds out the car will one day belong to him. The family's poor. We can see that by one of the illustrations. For example, we're gonna point out here that you can see the horse and you can see the ribs which maybe illustrates that the, the horse isn't fully fed or well fed all the time. However, the story also shows how happy the family were. Um, you can see how in this particular illustration, how the house is well kept, neat, obviously washing is done, so clothes are clean. So despite being poor, you can still um, live an excellent life. The major theme of the story is that sometimes simple can be more fun, a car trip, and more rewarding than complicated and expensive. Despite being poor and having a car that is old, the boy is just excited to travel with his family, see the big city, and carry on a family legacy. One day the car will belong to him. The story also tells us that we should take pride in our possessions, something that I believe should be relevant today, um, especially older children. As when I was in high school, self-worth seems to be about which iPhone you have, do you have 9 or 10, or how expensive your sneakers were. Um, one of the really, really cool parts of this story is how the family, despite the old car, would pick people up on the way just to drop them off somewhere. Nobody seemed to mind that the car was old. Um, so as stated already, excellent resource to teach children about family life and the value of what you're on is less about how much it costs and more to do with what you do with it. Um, my wife and I, we raised six children, and so our vacations were taken on a budget, and so we would drive. Some of the happiest memories we have of Omaha, Eureka Springs, Branson, St. Louis, all places we drove to. Not exotic, but they still created great family mem uh, memories. Two activities. Um, first one could be students could plan a, a road trip uh, with their family. Where are we going to go? Create a map. What are you going to see when you get there? illustrations of what they see. They could look those up or use magazines. Second one, maybe show and tell. Um, this story is also about possessions. Uh, the favorite thing that the boy says about the journey was the car. Uh, what is the children's favorite possession? Can they actually bring it in or can they just take a picture of it? So very enjoyable book. Um, excellent lessons for kids today. Thank you.